Hello guys, it's Johnny Time and welcome to another smart contract hacking tutorial. Today I'm going to share with you the best Visual Studio Code plugin for smart contract auditing. This plugin is perfect for smart contract auditors and it has so many features and it's going to make your life so much easier easier. Either if you're a developer or a smart contract auditor, you're going to find so many useful features in this plugin. So without further ado, let's get started. And the plugin is Solidity Visual Developer. And if you already know this plugin, still make sure to watch this video because there are probably some features that you missed that are gonna make your life so much easier. So we go to the extension uh, tab in Visual Studio Code and just install the Solidity Visual Developer plugin. You can also check it out on the official marketplace of Visual Studio. And the first thing that this plugin gives you once you install it is syntax highlighting. So as you can see, my Solidity code is colored and highlighted in the right places and it's very pleasant and nice to read. I really like the syntax highlighting by this particular plugin. Another cool feature that this plugin adds to your Solidity smart contract is these two buttons, the FunkSig and F-Trace. FunkSig is simply going to calculate the SIG hash of this particular function based on its name and the parameter. And this is super useful, especially when you deal with on-chain deployed contracts and low level calls. And another super cool underrated feature is the function trace. For example, as you can see, I can click here the function trace button on the mint function, and it's gonna give me all the trace of this function. What of other calls, what of other functions, this function call. And you can see, for example, that this mint is gonna call the internal mint mint function in ERC20 and you can see also other internal functions that are being called inside the ERC20 contract that is being inherited. You can also see that it's going to call the ownable contract, the check owner function, which is going to access some state variables, owner and message sender in context. This is because of this only owner modifier here. So it's very, very useful in order to understand in depth what kind of function calls every function does, and it will let you understand the code base much better. Now, another super cool and useful feature is the auditor comments. So if you just add a normal comment over here, it's just gonna be green. But if you add the add sign and then audit, then it's gonna color them in orange. And this is a special comment which you can add as a smart contract auditor and you can also mark as audit info. Okay, this is just some information that you want to mark about this function, audit okay or audit issue. So I use this feature all the time to add comments to my smart contracts while I audit them. I always start with just a basic audit comment and also I can describe the function in my own language so the next time I read a function I don't have to go through the code again so I can do something like audit info and audit info is just for me to understand better the protocol so I can write a function to propose and you proposal to the DAO the DAO also, if I, if I have a suspicions, if something might be odd, I just make an audit comment. Maybe can we propose if we are not in the DAO or we don't have voting power, okay? Then if it is a legit finance, I can change it to audit-issue and then I can assemble my report based on those comments that I added to the smart contract. And if eventually it's not a valid finding or I was wrong with my assumption, I can just change it to audit-okay. So the next time I come to this function and examine it again, I don't have to go through all my thinking to understand if it's a problematic a function or if it's vulnerable or not vulnerable, I just know that it's okay because I left this uh, comment audit okay and this function and this assumption that I thought that I can exploit it is not going to happen. So I highly recommend you using this kind of audit special comments that this extension offers. And the last feature that I really want to share with you is the graphs. So on any smart contract that you go to, you can simply go to command shift P and then just search for graph. And then you can use this Solidity Visual Developer plugin to generate a graph flow graph flow chart for you based on the functionality of the smart contract. So you can graph all the contracts in the same folder or just this particular contract 
that we are on right now. So I'm just gonna pick this one, call graph for active editor. And it's gonna show us all the functionalities, all the calls between functions, if it's external contract or the same contract. For example, we can see here that the mint called the internal mint function, the propose calls the balance off, checks the balance of the user that is trying to propose a new proposal, vote as well. And you can get a lot of information and high level data about a contract just by using this feature, this graph feature, which is an amazing feature. And guys, if you are just starting with smart contract auditing and you want a complete roadmap step-by-step -step of how to become a smart contract auditor, definitely check out my other video tutorial of the roadmap of how to become a smart contract auditor in 2023. This was the Solidity Visual Developer plugin. I hope you guys liked it. And if you did, please make sure to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel for more awesome videos. Thank you so much and I will see you in the next time.